The film opens with Leo giving a voiceover, explaining how he was just a delivery man and wondering how he got into this situation. Two days ago, Rhino is talking on the phone with a girl named Cheetah as he drives to a meeting with Bodega Diablo, a drug kinpin. Cheetah tells Rhino where to send a package, and Rhino tells her to be ready to sign for it. When Rhino arrives at Bodega's, Rhino asks if there's anyone they can trust with such a big shipment. Bodega tells him that they have no choice, since they took a loss with their last courier, Carlos. Rhino tells Bodega that he found Carlos, and takes Bodega to the trunk of his car. Inside, Carlos is crying. Carlos claims that he got the money from Rhino to pay for a shipment when the feds swooped in and took it. Bodega is skeptical and slams the trunk on Carlos' face. Yesterday, in Philadelphia, a news report covering a robber states that the robbers took only the surveillance tapes. The three robbers are watching the news report on television and laughing about the fact that they are only accused of stealing the surveillance tapes. They were all ready to rob the bank, armed and with masks on. Brody, Gutch, and Hassey went into the bank and took hostages. Gutch told Brody to go to the safe, but Brody misheard him and went and grabbed the tapes. Gutch yells at him because Brody wasn't acting logical and calls him an idiot. The three escaped the bank with only the security tapes. A security guard comes out shoots at them while they try to get into their car, so the group ditched the car. They then start to debate why Hassey is living in their apartment. Cut to Leo at the shipping dock. He drops a package when Ivy calls him out on it. Ivy says she isn't angry at Leo, but that Ms. Jackson, Leo's mother, might be. Leo is certain that a lady he delivered a package to ratted him out for smoking weed during a delivery. Ivy tells Leo that he needs to see Ms. Jackson in her office. Apparently, Leo and Ivy broke up a week ago, and Leo is hoping for reconciliation. He gets pissed when she says she's not in love with him and starts throwing boxes into the truck. Ms. Jackson sees this and yells at him to get in her office. She accuses him of smoking pot on delivery and tells him that if he screws up again, she'll fire him. She tells him to start acting like Eric, the star employee. Though he promises that he won't get any more complaints, Leo immediately starts smoking pot on his next delivery. As Gutch and Brody talk about their shitty living situation and their failed attempts at robberies, Leo is forced to carry a large package up to Gutch and Brody's apartment since the elevator is broken. Leo leaves the package with Hassie for Gonzalez. Hesse's Gonzalez and Cheetah are waiting for the package, which is apparently a large quantity of cocaine. Jesus is freaking out because they stole the shipment from Bodega. Cheetah goes to track the package while Gonzalez waits. Gutch and Brody notice the package Hassey signed for and find the cocaine inside a plant vase. They are shocked when they see all the cocaine and start trying it out. They consider it a miracle since they're broke and can sell the cocaine for money. They realize that it belongs to poor Rickens across the hall. They hide the cocaine in a trash bag, and Brody suggests that they sell the cocaine to Brody's cousin, Shavu. Shavu makes cocaine with his right-hand man, Buddy, and sells it on the street. Brody calls up Shavu and offers to sell it to him before he sells it to someone else. Leo walks over to his truck and sees a man cutting into a box and yells at him. It turns out to be Eric and the two screw around a bit and smoke some weed. Eric says he hates Leo because Leo's mother supports Leo, and Eric is struggling to make it on his own. They express a desire to move up from their position, before going off to make their own deliveries. Not too far away, Cheetah is tracking the package from a payphone. Shavu and Buddy are driving around while Shavu explains the situation. Shavu states that he doesn't trust Brody and Gutch since they are stupid. When they arrive, Shavu tries the cocaine that Gutch and Brody offer him. Brody shows Shavu and Buddy the rest of the bricks. Shavu offers to give them $150,000 in the long run, but $15,000. Gutch wants to hold on to the cocaine until Shavu brings back the money. Shavu promises to get them their money in two hours. In the hall, Shavu makes it clear that they can make a very large profit off the cocaine and head to their storage unit. Cheetah returns to Jesus and tells him that tracking number was invalid. She tells him that the phone was broken and that it wasn't her fault. They get a phone call from Bodega and ask if the package arrived. 
Bodega says that he tracked the package and that it got picked up. Jesus tells him that it was Leo who stole the package and that he will find it soon. He grabs his gun and goes to find Leo. Leo is trying to hit on a pair of women and they soundly reject him. He wants to smoke a joint but realizes he is out of weed. Shavu and Buddy arrive at the storage unit and tells Buddy that he's thinking of quitting the drug dealing business and retiring on 500,000. Shavu tells him that he doesn't think drugs are worth dying for, and he makes Buddy promise that they quit after this run. They find their storage container open and freak when they see the entire storage unit is empty. All their money was stolen, a few hundred thousands. They realize that whoever did it needed a lot of people to carry all the money out. Jesus and Chita start driving around to find Leo. Jesus recounts his introduction to Bodega. Bodega thought that Jesus stole a package of cocaine from Bodega because of his friend Hector. Jesus tries to get Hector and himself out of there, but Bodega instead makes Jesus work for him as a drug mule. Rhino killed Hector and made Jesus his replacement. Jesus pulls up behind a delivery truck and pulls out his shotgun and pulls it on the driver who turns out to be Eric. Jesus and Cheetah hold him at gunpoint. Eric clearly has no idea what they want and Jesus tells Cheetah that Eric is not the guy they are after. They steal his watch and leave him in the truck. Brumby calls Chavu and Shavu tells he won't be able to come back to the apartment in two hours and that he will buy the shipment the next day. Gutch believes this is confirmation of Shavu's intention to rob them, but Brumby tries to calm Gutch down. Shavu and Buddy are torturing one of the storage lot attendants for information, and he agrees to help them. The attendant tells them that a man named Wade stole his money. Shavu goes into Wade's supply store and buys everything necessary to torture the information out of Wade, and then confronts him about the stolen money. They recover the money and tie the two attendants up with duct tape. They then lock them in the storage container and leave them. Meanwhile, Leo is across town visiting his drug dealer. A random guy steals a package from Leo's truck and Leo chases him down. Jesus gets a call from Bodega and tells him that he hasn't recovered the shipment. Bodega sends Rhino to take care of Jesus. A montage of that night occurs. Gutch and Brody party with some strippers. Cheetah and Jesus pray and spend the night together. Leo leaves work. Shavu and Buddy count their money. Rhino takes a plan into Philadelphia. Today, Cheetah and Jesus are woken up by a phone call. Rhino calls but hangs up when Jesus picks up. Bodega and Rhino are outside the door and push Jesus back into the apartment. Bodega tells them that they are going to find Leo and recover the cocaine. Bodega tells Jesus that they are going to need more guns. Across the hall, Gutch and Brody are planning what they're going to spend their money on. Gutch hides a bunch of guns around the apartment in case Shavu tries to screw them over. Gutch tells Brody that he would kill Brody for one brick, let alone ten. Brody is hurt by this statement and visibly upset, while Gutch tries to play it off. Leo goes to his delivery truck and opens the back, only to find Bodiga, Rhino, Cheetah, and Jesus all pointing guns at him. They pull him into the truck. Shavu and Buddy check their money and then arm themselves before they go into the apartment. Buddy puts a shotgun into the money bag, and they go up to the Brody's apartment. In the truck, Leo is being beaten by Jesus in front of Bodega and Rhino. Bodega makes it clear that they will kill him, and Leo tries to remember. Leo tells him that he delivered the package. When Jesus pulls a gun, he tells them he can take them to the place he delivered the cocaine. Meanwhile, Brody and Shavu are arguing over the cocaine. Shavu thinks he may have replaced the cocaine with lower quality stuff. Brody and Gutch get very suspicious, but Shavu gets the money. Hassi wakes up and goes to use the bathroom while Gutch and Brody count the money and Shavu and Buddy pack the cocaine. Leo leads the group to Gutch and Brody's apartment. Bodega tells Leo that he has to get the shit back. Leo knocks on the door in the middle of the deal. The four of them freak out thinking it is the cops. Brody sees that it's the delivery man, and they realize that Leo knows he delivered the package to the wrong place. Leo asks Brody for the box he delivered by mistake. Brody tells them that he delivered the box back to the station. Bodega forces his way into their apartment. A Mexican showdown ensues. Leo is in the middle of the standoff. Gutch shoots Jesus, 
while Bodega shoots Gutch three times in the chest. Brody grabs a submachine gun and starts shooting at Bodega. He misses every shot, and Bodega shoots Brody twice in the chest. Shavu kneecaps Bodega before shooting him in the chest in order to avenge his cousin. Shavu grabs the cocaine and makes a break for the door, only for Rhino to shoot him with a shotgun. Buddy and Rhino get into a night fight in what's left of the kitchen. Rhino stabs Buddy to death in the kitchen. Shavu, half alive, reaches for a gun. Rhino grabs Shavu and tries to stab him once more, but Shavu shoots Rhino several times in the chest. Shavu remembers what he told Buddy about how drugs aren't worth dying for. Instead of taking the drugs, Shavu leaves. Leo, who was on the floor the whole time, not moving, jumps up when he's sure it isn't over. He finds the $100,000 Shavu was going to pay for the drugs with. Cheetah comes out of her hiding place as Leo is leaving with the money. Leo pulls out the shotgun Buddy left in the bag and makes her go back in her apartment. A random couple sees him with a shotgun, and so he yells at them and gets in the elevator. Cheetah goes in to check on Jesus and finds him alive. She helps Jesus and they realize that Eric's stolen watch saved Hess's life by stopping the bullet. They take the cocaine and leave the apartment. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.